Hi, I'm Rose Holistic Guru, and today I'm going to be talking about how to measure the energy in rocks. I am just starting to learn how to do this, so actually if anybody has done this before and has any tips for me, that would be great. Um, I first tried by wrapping this, oh, I'm sorry, I have a multimeter, and I first tried wrapping aluminum foil around this as a grounding wire, but I found out that I get a better reading if I simply wrap the end of a rock with aluminum foil for touching the grounding wire too. Let me bring this down so you can see what I'm doing here. It's a normal multimeter. Now I'm going to do step by step because I had trouble finding a video that would do it this way when I was learning how to measure. So uh, I put the plugs, you see where you can see where I put the plugs down here at the bottom. Do the red and black plug. You can tell which settings I left it on, uh, which holes I put it on here. And we'll probably adjust this a little better here. There we go. And when I turn it on, I'm going to turn it on over to 200 M. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but this is the only setting that I was really getting a good reading off of. And I'm going to show you this on Tiger's Eye. This is a Tiger's Eye stone. And I will take my black or grounding cord, and I'm going to put it on the aluminum foil. And then I'm going to take the red side, I'm going to touch it to the tiger's eye itself. You can see that reading. Oh, this lets you know that there really is energy in rocks. This was the reading for tiger's eye, and I'm sure different pieces and even of the same stone and different areas of the same stone can vary. So I will be working with getting uh, good averages on which stones consistently measure higher or lower. And like I said, if anybody has any updates or tips on how I could improve this, let me know. I'm also going to see if I can try this uh, with another stone real quick. We wrap the end with aluminum foil. Uh, this is a piece of emerald, a pretty rough piece, uh, not one of the real expensive clear gem style ones. Okay. And again, I would touch this black side to the aluminum foil, and let's touch the red side to the green. Okay, you can see the reading off of that. And again, this is emerald, we'll touch it in a few different spots for you. Touch the back side here. Nothing on the back side. There we go. So that was a uh, tiger's eye in emerald, and I would say that the tiger's eye is bigger than the emerald. So I don't know if that had anything to do with the readings. I will continue the experiments and let you know. So, and everybody, stay healthy and have a great day. Oh, also remember if you are feeling kind of um skeptical about rocks or crystals having energy, please check your watch. What I mean by that is the quartz crystal in your watch or the LCD screen you are most likely watching this video on, which stands for liquid crystal display. Right. Everybody have a great day and don't forget to leave your tips and tricks for how to measure the energy in rocks for me because I would like to know how to get better at this. I will be doing a lot of experiments once I start getting a Real good readings off of each stone. So, everybody have a great day. Oh, I will also say that I tried this method of wrapping the aluminum foil around a very large clear stone, and I actually could not get any reading off of that at all. So, size, I'm not sure if that really matters or what type of stones, but uh, that is what we're aiming to find out. So, have a great day.